Definitely gonna need these, almost forgot. Today's a story time video. First time I actually saw what was going to be my truck was uh, I was going through downtown where I used to live and I saw this really weird tiny dealership set up next to this little burrito place and uh, let me let me show you what it looks like here. I see this truck that I saw on Craigslist uh, a couple days ago so I flipped a UE and I definitely had to check this thing out and I was just by myself at the time. so. I go ahead and look at it. I really like it. There's no rust on the frame or anything. This thing's really clean. I was like, okay. We're looking pretty good here. Price-wise, it wasn't too bad either. So, next day, I was uh, I brought my dad with me to test drive the truck. So that's exactly what we did. And as we were test driving it, we were just kind of we we're uh, trying everything out, and uh, everything was working good. Uh, the only thing though is I should have known that the four-wheel drive was not working. Uh, pretty key indicator is my truck got stuck in a little six-inch snowbank trying to get out of the lot before we test drove it. Right then and there I should have known that my four-wheel drive was not working and I was just so blinded by the excitement of possibly getting my own truck that I totally overlooked that and that was definitely a big thing that came around to bite me in the butt. Well, it never really did. I only got stuck once and uh, I was able to get unstuck pretty easily. But anyways, other than that, there was a couple cosmetic issues. There's some scratches on the truck. It's a truck. It's gonna be used for truck things. I don't expect anything less from it. Scratches are pretty easy to fix, but in this case, it, they weren't too noticeable, so I didn't really care enough to fix them. Um, and uh, some of the cosmetic things on the inside, one of my cup holders is broken, no big deal. Always fix that. Uh, and I was missing the back headrest for the back seats, and I was like, I don't know, that's not really too big of an issue for me, and uh, this is my first truck, so my, my standards were, I wouldn't say they were low, but they were lower than what I was originally expecting. I, I originally wanted almost a brand new truck, I knew that wasn't going to happen, but anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. And uh, so yeah, as we're test driving it, I tell my dad, I like it, and let's get it. We look it over one more time just to make sure everything's looking good and everything kind of checks out to us and we're both, we're not super mechanically inclined but we definitely know our way around a vehicle. We definitely know how it works but when it comes to a lot of the other major things uh, we don't really look into that stuff all too much. So uh, we go to the dealer, pay for the truck, everything's good and I get the keys. I get the keys and I'm so excited that I got my own truck and you cannot believe how happy I was to finally have my own vehicle. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect on this. I definitely messed up on a lot of parts for the first time buyer process here. I definitely kind of got stuck, well I didn't, I don't want to say I got suckered into it, but I, I kind of was a sucker when it comes to uh, that. But yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys Larry here and uh, get used to seeing him on the channel a little more because Pretty much, he's gonna be a pretty big piece on my channel. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Mm -hmm. 